Good morning, friends. It's kind of chilly out here this morning. I'm, we're just back yesterday from Florida. We spent 10 beautiful days in Florida, but I will never go again in the summer. <laughs> it was hot. I've missed my morning walks, my morning tea out in the garden. The girls are crying. Mom, let us out. Ooh, it's brisk. Let me tell you, this is going to be a two-part uh, video because when I left, uh, let's see, we left the 16th. And we got back in yesterday the 26th. Today is Monday the 27th. My garden didn't really look the way it looks now. <laughs> My garden kind of looks like um, a jungle. I'm just shocked. Mike did a good job of keeping it watered and everything, but I have to get in there and thin the carrots out and do this, take the suckers off the tomatoes and trim the tops off the onions, but I'm just surprised. So I'm going to talk about my trip. The whole reason I started YouTube was so that I could um, just kind of keep a record of what I'm doing in my life. And so I want to do a, a video of Florida, our trip. But also I want to show you what's going on in this garden. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Good morning, girls. Hello. Hi. Oh, spooky, you're back. Good morning, Leia. Mr. Chewy. I want to give you a sneak peek of this garden. Look at this. This is so overgrown. It's huge. I mean, this isn't even halfway through the growing season. Look at this. Came home to a nice surprise. So Florida, yay. We left on the 16th on a Thursday and we stayed in Knoxville um, Thursday night and we arrived at Leesburg, um, in Leesburg uh, Friday night about eight or nine o'clock. I like to road trip. Um, I think my body is getting a little bit too old for road tripping. After sitting three hours, we had to stop probably every three hours. My body was getting tight, and <laughs> I think that's probably the last time I'll ever road trip it to Florida. I have road tripped it to Florida four times now in my life, and I think I think it's safe to say that'll be it. But I loved road trip. I like stopping at the various places. I love I love you know getting a pack of peanut M and M's at a Diet Coke at a at a Pilot or a rest area. Um, but anyway, I'm just watching my rooster try to get with the girls through the fence. It's hilarious. <laughs> and there's my girl. I pulled up yesterday and she just went crazy. She was so excited. She doesn't usually act like that, but boy, mom's home, mom's home. But anyway, we went to visit my aunt and my uncle, um, my aunt Cheryl and my uncle Terry. My Aunt Cheryl, she's been like a second mom to me, and so I took my mom to go down to visit her. That's her sister. And because my mom, she doesn't really like to fly either anyway. So it was a really nice time. Um, I hadn't seen my aunt probably about a year and a half. And it was just a lot of nice, a nice uh, reconnecting, sitting and having tea and coffee every morning. Um, boy, is it chilly out here. You know, you get used to that real humid, hot weather in Florida, which I will never again go to Florida in the summer. Ooh, no, 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 no. In Florida, my aunt and uncle, they live at a beautiful, in a beautiful uh, gated community. It was beautiful. It had three different pools, two of which we were at every day, just about every day and um, did a lot of swimming and there was this one pool it was called uh, the manor and it had waterfalls and it like a, almost like a grotto and i could not quit chasing these little lizards i wanted i think they're called anoles 
which I learned that the green anoles are the natives and the brown ones are not, but the brown ones are taken over. But I could not quit chasing those things and Alex, he had such a great time swimming. Uh, my aunt, she got down there too and uh, my Uncle Terry got down there, uh, my mom. So we did spend a lot of time down at those pools and why not? It was, it was like a resort feeling. It was so beautiful. And I think the whole time we were there, it rained two times and it didn't, the weird thing about Florida is when it rains, it doesn't usually stick around or it'll say rain all day and rain an hour and it's gone. So anyway, we spent a lot of time and there's also this really cool place called Venetian Gardens. So in Venetian Gardens, it's like a walk and there's bridges and oh my gosh, there were so many different birds. I can't even pretend to even know them all. There was like an ibis and there were cowbirds and there was this one called a purple gal I, I I don't even know, but it was, they were neat. They were, the purple one reminded me of like a chicken. It had big yellow feet and we were feeding them. And then the gators popped up. There was just two little gators. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we saw three total. And once the gators come around, you have to stop feeding. But um, that was a really fun place. Uh, I, I, I would definitely recommend that place. It's Venetian Gardens. One of our goals for getting down to Florida was so that Alex um, could see his brother. So Alex, um, how did you get out? Clementine's out. I don't know how she gets out. But she's telling Chewy off. She's saying, don't you dare come near me. Don't you dare come near me. I'm going to get you. <laughs> oh, Clementine is so bad. Hey, Clementine. So one of the one of the things that we wanted to do when we went down there is to reconnect with Alex's brother. Alex Alex got to see meet his brother six years ago, the last time we were down there. And a lot of things transpired and they weren't really able to connect the way that they wanted to, but he did get to see him. He came he drove all the way from Tampa area to see us and um it was nice. We, I, took, I just took him to McDonald's. They were going to swim and the weather started getting really bad. And then he had to go. We did we did want to um, see him some more, but um, like I said, due to some circumstances, we weren't able to see him. But um, also, we, we got to see um, my cousins. They, that's uh, my aunt's daughter and her whole family. And some other cousins were down there. That was a lot of fun. We had a barbecue. They came over and we swam <laughs> and then also I have a childhood friend from the seventh grade and I I've, I've kept in contact with her over the years here and there um, I'm Facebook friends with her but we got together and she met us out in Ocala and we got to uh, visit the Springs this is the first time that we'd ever gone to the Springs Wow, we went to Alexander Springs and the springs, okay, so I've been taught my whole life, you do not go in fresh water in Florida, okay? And we were in fresh water and I tell you what, it was such a, almost like a, an exhilarating feeling swimming in fresh water in Florida. And I don't, I don't know exactly the depth, but if there are, if you're a certified diver, you can actually dive down to this cavern and um, Georgette, she's a certified diver. She did not bring all of her equipment, but she was um, snorkeling around with Alex. I got on some fins and on some snorkel gear. And they, um, they, oh, I was too afraid. Plus, you know, I have um, prescription glasses. So even if I were to put goggles on, I wouldn't have been able to see anyway. But if you are in the middle of Florida, near like Gainesville or Ocala, you better stay away. This rooster. 
Um, you gotta go to the springs. There are springs all over. Where's he go? It's back there. There are springs all over um, Florida, which I never knew about. Crazy. Wow, are they cold, but they are refreshing. When it's 97 degrees out, you don't want a warm pool. So we went to the springs. And then after the springs, which I kind of wish we would have done this first because it was so hot and I did not have the right shoes. I had flip flops on. We went over to, to Gainesville, which is um, uh, about, it was about an hour north, I think. And we went to some place called Sweetwater. Sweetwater are wetlands. So Sweetwater, they're wetlands. And you, there is a warning sign. Stay 20 feet away from the alligators. Stay 50 or 100 feet away from wild horses. And there were wild boars. And we didn't see any of that, but we saw gators and we saw a lot of birds. Um, so we walked around in there. It was hot. We saw a lot of gator nest and they had them kind of roped off. I mean, we were five feet away, right? <laughs> but Georgette, it's okay. Don't worry. Everything's fine. And we were okay. You were right, Georgette. Um, but, uh, we, we walked around in there. I kind of gave up. I think we walked maybe in a mile and a half and I just couldn't take it anymore. And so the ranger came and saved us. <laughs> and then the ranger, he gave us um, a ride. He kind of gave us like a nice tour. And we found a couple more gators. We saw osprey. Um, oh my gosh, so many birds, so many birds. And we saw a gate, a lot of gators. And then he, um, he and Alex or Georgia got out and they were looking for snakes. Yeah, I was, I was not in on that one. Snakes don't scare me, but I'm not going to go looking for them. Okay. So I thought I was going to die, but I survived. That was hot. Um, but sweet water. Do not go in the summer. You won't see a lot of activity. Sweetwater is some place you want to go when the temp is down and the gators are moving. In fact, my friend, she has a YouTube channel with a lot of videos from Sweetwater and it's called Outdoor Serenity. You can check her out and she got some gators. She got some, she got a lot of activity. That girl is not afraid. Um, so yeah, check that YouTube channel out and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> So where we were staying, the middle of Florida, pretty much, um, we weren't near the ocean. I have got a lot of great memories. When I was a kid, a couple times, I would go and I would stay with my grandma for a month at a time. Um, down, she lived in South Pasadena near Boca Ciega Bay. She's since passed. I was so I wasn't able to visit her, but um, I got my memories of Florida is that area. And so, you know, a lot of people think, oh, man. So a lot of people, when they think of Florida, they think of Clearwater or Daytona. I've been to both. I prefer the Gulf side. The water is so clear. And so my mom and Alex and I, um, one day we drove to St. Petersburg. And we went to St. Pete Beach. We had lunch on, um, up on the bay. Um, this really great... Uh, neat little felt like an islands um, bar and grill I had fish tacos I've never had that before it was that they were delicious and then we went to st. Pete Beach and we sat on the beach that water was as warm as a bathtub it was I hate to say it but it just wasn't refreshing now I don't swim in the ocean um, Years ago, when I was staying in Florida with my grandma, I had a, a, a dolphin incident, and I thought it was a shark, and I don't swim in the ocean anymore. <laughs> but Alex, he spent two hours frolicking, and I felt kind of bad because he was alone. His brother was supposed to meet us, but um, it, he, had, he had fun and got a lot of sun. So then I had this great idea. Let's drive to Clearwater. 
OMG. If you have not been to Clearwater lately, don't go. It is so built up, you cannot even see the water. They have decided to take every kind of condo and house and hotel and build it up so you can't even see the water. That place is so congested, it was it was gross. Like I was like, okay, we just drove all the way up the coast to see this. I was really disappointed, so guess what? We turned around and we went back to St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is kind of busy too, but not like Clearwater. So we, we got a, a few souvenirs. I got this really cute hat. Alex got a couple shirts. And then we found a restaurant, which I did eat there six years ago with um, a friend of mine called Krabby Bills. And it was, it was on the water. And this trip was a trip of many firsts. Alex, he tried um, catfish and we, he tried coconut. Um, I tried, I tried boiled peanuts. We found this great little stand and I tried boiled peanuts, gator jerky, um, a, a place called Zaxby's. Now I had Chick-fil-A wasn't a first, but obviously you're in the South, especially in Florida, you have to go to Chick-fil-A. What is your favorite sauce? I have this thing when I dip my chicken tenders or chicken nuggets, I have to have a million sauces. And that's what's great about Chick-fil-A is there's a there's lots of sauces. I think my favorite was the, the Chick-fil-A sauce. Maybe the smoky barbecue too. That was pretty good. But we did eat at Chick-fil-A just one time. Um, what about you? Do you like Chick-fil-A? I like it. It's not something that I would stand in line for an hour for, but it's okay. Zaxby's I, I didn't care for. Stay away from that, Clementine. So, um... Coming home, you know, you know that you've had a fulfilled vacation when you're ready to come home, and I was ready. You know, Mike he'd been taking care of the chickens and the garden and the house and the yard and everything. He was working, and so I was really ready to get back home and um, start my gardening again. But it was it was a nice trip. It's always nice to get away. Um, <clears throat> And uh, it's bittersweet. It is bittersweet because I don't know when I'm going to be able to see my, my family again. You know, I, you don't know. We, we all grew up so close and when you're, I was always a part of that family. And now, you know, as we get older, people move away and you, you never know. So, you you know, I just, I took the time to just sit and chat and and I took it all in and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to put this all together for memories for me and uh, so we were ready to come home um, and uh, it's 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 easier to go to drive two days to get to Florida than it is to drive two days to come home <laughs> but um, but it, it, it's a beautiful drive. Um, you spend about 20 hours or two days in the car if you stop. Um, Georgia, I just love the red sand in Georgia. And we stopped at this great little stand and got some sweet Georgia peaches. I like to make a peach cobbler. And then we, uh, we drove to the mountains of Tennessee and the uh, you know, rocky hills and mountains of Kentucky. And years ago, I went to Kentucky with a friend and she introduced me to AL8. And so of course I had to pick up a few AL8s, a light one in Kentucky. And, oh, you know, I always used to think, oh, Ohio, it's so boring. But now that I farm, there's a lot of really beautiful farm country in Ohio. And it, it really is beautiful. Um, and then once we reached Detroit, you could see the city line and um, you know, Motor City. We knew we were almost home. We're about an hour and 10 minutes north of Detroit. And then we, uh, we, we hit our town. Um, <clears throat> that last 10 minutes is always the most difficult. It's like, ah, oh, oh, come on just get there already and it's and once I, I met my dad to drop off my mom so I didn't have to go all the way to her house 
but I teased Micah and I said, oh, and it's going to be another hour. We're stuck in traffic in Detroit. And so he was quite surprised when we pulled up and my chickens, I think they knew I was home, but uh, it, was a, it was a really great trip. I recommend driving to Florida at least once. There's a lot of sights and things that you would miss by hopping on a plane. What was that? What about you? Do you like to road trip? I love a good road trip. Um, when we went to England, uh, Mike's, Mike and I have very different ideas of, <laughs> of, of vacation. Mike wants to go and sit at a resort and lay by the pool and read. If I go somewhere like Hawaii or England, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna visit places, okay? So I made him drive all over when we went to England. We went to Highclere Castle. We went all the way up to Scotland. We've been over to Wales, but that's another video. Um, we are going to try to get to England, um, if not this year, hopefully next spring. But um, we will fly first, and then we will road trip it. <laughs> I want to go to Ireland next. But anyway... Um, so I love to road trip. I think it's great. I would rather, um, visit all these places, see all these places. My next road trip, I believe is going to be out to uh, New England. I really want to, I've been in New Hampshire, but I would like to drive to Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Maine, um, the country of uh, New York. Uh, I just, I love, I love, um, taking in all the sights. Mike, he'd say, hey, let's just drive. But that's okay. That's how uh, opposites attract. Attract. So what about you, though? Do you like to road trip? Road trip or flying? Let me know in the comments down below. And thanks so much for hanging out with me. As always, I will see you next time.